Hi, I'm Mrs. Trenier, and I teach music at John Rogers Elementary School. And I'm videoing this lesson from home today because I, like a lot of you, are staying home right now. But I want to send out a message that I miss all the students and staff at my school, and I hope that we see each other again very soon. This is my dog, like a lot of you. I'm sharing my, my house Biscuit. with others right Hi, now, Biscuit. too. This is my cat, Lark. Hi, Lark. Today's lesson is inspired by March, Women's History Month, and Music in Our Schools Month. Today, I'm going to be sharing a biography or a true story about Milo Castro Zaldariaga. The book is called Drum Dream Girl. And we're going to have a lesson today that you will get to practice your listening and rhythm skills and you will need some materials as well. A piece of paper and two pencils. Today I'd like to start our story by sharing two words that I think of when I think of drum dream girl and they're also in our story and that's courage and brave. Two words that seem very alike but mean a little bit different things. Courage is being able to take on difficulties and pain and danger despite being afraid. It's a state of mind. Brave is the ability to confront difficulties, danger, and pain in the face of pressure without fear. It's strength of character. When I'm reading, we'll think together about how Milo in the story shows courage and is brave. Sometimes at different times, sometimes at the same time. To get ready for our story, we're going to need to travel all the way from Seattle across the globe to the island of Cuba. We'll use this old globe to find Seattle. Can you find it? It's right here. From here, we're going to travel across the whole United States all the way to the state of Florida. And then we're gonna cross the Straits of Florida to get to the island of Cuba. Did you know that a nickname for Cuba is an island of music? This is because of the many musical traditions that were brought to the island by enslaved people from West Africa. And from immigrants from Europe, particularly from Spain, starting about 500 years ago. Today, Cuba remains a rich source of musical ideas and styles, one of which we will be exploring through our story today. Some words to talk about before we read the book are conga drums. These are tall drums that have a kind of a lowish sound and are played with the hands. They started out as molasses barrels that people on the island of Cuba could put skins on and use for drums. Here's an example of how conga drums sound. There's also bongo drums. These are much shorter. And they're also played with the hand. And finally, timbales that are round drums with metal edges that you can play with sticks and you can play on the top of the drum or the edge for a very different sound. The last word I want to talk about before we start the book is taboo, a social custom forbidding something or something that is not acceptable to say or do. Here's a little bit of Milo Castro Zaldariaga's music. Drum Dream Girl is written by Margarita Engel, a Cuban-American author, and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Drum Dream Girl, How One Girl's Courage Changed Music. Poem by Margarita Engel, 
with illustrations by Rafael Lopez. On an island of music in a city of drum beats, the drum dream girl dreamed. Of pounding tall conga drums, tapping small bongo drums, and boom, boom, booming with long, loud sticks on big, round, silvery, moon-bright timbales. But everyone on the island of music in the city of drum beats believed that only boys should play drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming quiet, secret drum beat dreams. At outdoor cafes that looked like gardens, she heard drums played by men, but when she closed her eyes, she could also hear her own imaginary music. When she walked under wind wavy palm trees in a flower bright park, she heard the whir of parrot wings, the clack of woodpecker beaks, the dancing tap of her own footsteps, and the comforting pat of her own heartbeat. What sounds do you hear around you right now? At carnivals, she listened to the rattling beat of towering dancers on stilts and the dragon clang of costumed drummers wearing huge masks. At home, her fingertips rolled out their own dreamy drum rhythm on tables and chairs. And even though everyone kept reminding her that girls on the island of music had never played drums, what do you notice about the drum in this picture? I think it shows how Milo might be feeling about the drums right now. The brave drum dream girl dared to play tall conga drums, small bongo drums, and big round silvery moon bright timbales. Her hands seemed to fly as they rippled, wrapped, and pounded all the rhythms of her drum dreams. Her big sisters were so excited that they invited her to join their new all-girl dance band. What instruments do you recognize? I see trombone, bass, guitar, saxophone, trumpet, I see maracas, and I see Milo playing her own drum. But their father said, only boys should play drums. How do you think she felt after hearing that? So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming and drumming alone. Until, finally, her father offered to find a music teacher who could decide if her drums deserved to be heard. What do you think made him change his mind? How do you think Milo felt when he did? And I think the illustrator has given us a clue in her face. The drum dream girl's teacher was amazed. The girl knew so much, but he taught her more and more and more. And she practiced and she practiced and she practiced until the teacher agreed that she was ready to play her small bongo drums outdoors at a starlit cafe that looked like a garden where everyone who heard her dream bright music sang and danced and decided that girls should always be allowed to play drums and both girls and boys should feel free to dream. This is a historical note from the author. This poem was inspired by the childhood of a Chinese African Cuban girl who broke Cuba's traditional taboo against female drummers. Remember our word taboo? In 1932, at the age of 10, Milo Castro Zaldariaga performed with her older sisters as Anacona, Cuba's first all-girl dance band. Here's a picture of Anacona. 
And you spot Milo in front with her drum. Milo became a world famous musician playing alongside all the American jazz greats of the era. At age 15, she played her bongo drums at a New York birthday celebration for U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, where she was enthusiastically cheered by First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. There are now many female drummers in Cuba. Thanks to Milo's courage, becoming a drummer is no longer an unattainable dream for girls on the island. Here's a picture of Mila with her bongo drums. So how did Drum Dream Girl overcome taboo to achieve her dreams? How did Milo's music change her island and the world? How did she show courage and how was she brave? Do you remember the music that we heard at the beginning of Drum Dream Girl? Here's a little bit of the music again. That music is called Son Cubano. It's the music of Anacona, the band that Milo and her sisters were in. Listen for a sharp tapping sound that sounds like this pattern. Slow, 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 quick, quick. Tap along with me. That special rhythm is called son clave, and it's a traditional part of the music that Milo and her sisters play. Here's a pair of claves that would traditionally be used to play a clave rhythm in son music, but not always. The way you play traditional claves is you hold one in your hand along, sort of like a hot dog in a bun, with a little space underneath, and you hold the other on top and you click them together so they sound like this. They have a very sharp, bright sound, don't they? Let's listen again. You can use lots of things from around your house if you don't happen to have a pair of claves to play the rhythm, including wooden spatulas, wooden spoons, wooden brushes, chopsticks, or even two pencils, like I'm going to use today. Let's start by saying the words drum, dream, girl, me, low, and practicing it with a finger on our hand. Drum, dream, girl, me, low. Drum, dream, girl, me, low. Now let's try it with our pencils. You can hold them a little like the claves that we tried before. Drum, Dream girl, me low. Drum, dream girl, me low. Drum, dream girl, me low. Let's try tapping along with a slower son song called Aviana Imani or Hazelnuts and Peanuts. See if you can hear the slow, 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 quick, quick or drum, dream girl, me low rhythm in the song. You hear it? Try it with me. Nice and slow, right? Now let's try it with our pencils. Drum, dream, girl, me low. Drum, dream, girl, me low. Drum, dream, girl. Now just think it. Nice. Are you ready for a challenge? Let's see if we can play the faster version that we hear with Anacona playing the rhythm. You hear it? a game that Milo and her friends or sisters might have played. It's an old folk song from Spain. It was sung a lot in Mexico. It's in Spanish and it was played in Cuba too. The song is called La Cucaracha and about, it's about a little cockroach who loses her leg and has to hop around like this.
The words are, if you speak them, la cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar, porque la falta, porque la falta, la patica principal. Now I'll sing and you echo me. Now I'll sing longer phrases and you can echo me again. Now let's try the whole thing together. We like to play a game with that song at my school sometimes. It's a hopping game. You're sort of acting out the part of the little cockroach who's missing her leg. And the goal is to hop all during the song and at the end, try to keep your balance before you start the song again. It can be a contest to see who can stand or hop the longest without touching two feet on the ground. Whoever loses their balance and puts down a foot is out of the game. You can keep playing until there's one person left and that person wins the game. Make sure you have a safe place to hop. My daughter Ruby and I are going to play the game so you can watch and then you can try it yourself or play along with us. Are you ready? All right. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Ya no puede caminar porque le falta, porque le falta la patica principal. A balance. Fall over and don't grab on anything. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Ya no puede caminar porque le falta, porque le falta la patica principal. <laughs> I think I just lost. <laughs> Yay, you're the winner, Ruby. I hope you liked our lesson today. We covered a lot of ground. We learned about the drum dream girl, or Milo Castro Zadariaga, and how she persevered through difficulties. We listened for a slow, 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 quick, quick rhythm. That was the clave rhythm of the style of music that Milo and her sisters played called Son Cubano. And we got to play a really fun hopping game. I hope that you are inspired by this book to keep trying to reach the things that you dream of no matter what difficulties you encounter. And I hope that you keep practicing and practicing and working hard and I believe that you will find the dreams that you wish for. Thank you.